You come to the Four Boxes Diner to learn about things you will not hear anywhere else. And that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be extremely geeky and it's going to involve, ready for this folks, the assignment. That's right, the assignment of cases to federal judges. This is something that Senator Chuck Schumer is all over right now. But don't worry about it. The Four Boxes Diner is on top of this. And we're going to explain to you how Chuck Schumer is trying to undercut your Second Amendment rights by virtue of a game associated with how judges are assigned in the federal court system. You're not going to want to miss this super geeky inside discussion of judicial assignments and why they matter to our rights. Hey folks, I'm Mark Smith, host of the Four Boxes Diner, proud American gun owner, constitutional attorney, member of the United States Supreme Court Bar, and author of many books on the Second Amendment, including Disarmed, What the Ukraine War Teaches Americans About the Right to Bear Arms. All right, folks, so judges in America, federal judges in America, I want to talk about how they're situated and why Chuck Schumer is desperately trying to change how judges are assigned to particular cases, including to Second Amendment cases. Right now, the United States, under the United States Constitution, is required to have only one court. I don't know if you knew that, but there's only one court that's required as a matter of the Constitution to exist. That is the Supreme Court. Article 3 of the U.S. Constitution says that the United States shall have one Supreme Court. That, of course, is the Supreme Court we know of and we talk a lot about. Then the Constitution says that there can be other inferior courts, meaning inferior in power and authority to the U.S. Supreme Court, that Congress has the right, if it so chooses, to create. And that's what they've done. So this is why we have essentially a system where you have the United States Supreme Court at the top of the pyramid. Then you have U.S. Courts of Appeals, like the Second Circuit Court of Appeals out of New York, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals out of Richmond, Virginia, and Maryland, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals out of California and Hawaii, and so on and so on. But below those Courts of Appeals, as you probably have learned from watching the Four Boxes Diner, you have what are known as United States District Courts. Those district courts are, again, federal judges with lifetime appointments, but they're the trial judges. So most of the time, if not always, when you bring a lawsuit in federal court, you sue. There are some exceptions to this we don't need to get into. But as a general matter, you sue in front of the United States District Court. And there's over 100 district court judges all around America they're all over the country in all different parts of this country, and they funnel upwards into the U.S. Courts of Appeals, and therefore those Courts of Appeals funnel ultimately up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, the reason why I just laid out how this works is because you need to understand this to understand why Senator Chuck Schumer is extremely excited about changing the system to make it harder for Second Amendment cases, among other conservative-oriented cases, to be assigned to judges that actually care about the Constitution, that actually might enforce the Second Amendment. And specifically, one particular judge in Texas has almost been singled out by Senator Schumer because, among other things, he has ruled in favor of the Second Amendment on the pistol brace rule. So again, now we've talked about this, the Supreme Court, the Courts of Appeals, the District Court. Now here's the critical thing to understand. The district courts cover a geographic region. So in New York, you have like the Southern District of New York that covers like Manhattan. Then you have the Eastern District of New York that covers places like Brooklyn. And then down in Texas, you have like the Northern District of Texas, the Southern District of Texas, the Eastern District of Texas, the Western District of Texas, and they cover uh, a whole host of, you know, different courthouses and things in those areas. Now, here's the key to understand. Under, within the districts, within like the Southern District of New York or within the Western District of Texas, you have what are known as divisions. Divisions. Now, divisions, and this is key, divisions are not legally required to exist. You are a member of, let's say, the United States District Court for the Southern District of Texas. You're a judge in that district. But under that, you can have, as a matter of administrative convenience, you can have divisions because some of these districts are very, very big. To give you an example, for example, in the Northern District of Texas, just to give you a few, you have the Amarillo District Division, I should say, the Amarillo Division within the Northern District of Texas. You have the Lubbock Division. You have the Abilene Division. You have the Dallas Division. These are very big areas. And the reason why this is important is when you sue 
in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Texas, you don't just sue in that big district. Here's the key. You can sue if, if assuming you have a legal jurisdictional hook, you could sue in a particular division within the Northern District of Texas, for example. Now, the reason why this matters is because there is one division in the Northern District of Texas where there's only one, I repeat, only one United States District Court judge there. So if you want to make sure that that judge hears your case, you can sue in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Texas in that particular division, because in that one division, specifically the Amarillo division, guess what? There's only one judge. So for some reason you want to be in front of that judge, that's where you sue. Now, who is that one judge? That judge is Matthew, uh, Judge Matthew Katzmerich. Okay, I hope I mis didn't pronounce that. I'm pretty good with Polish, but not perfect. Uh, don't want to get kicked in the dupa by somebody. Uh, nevertheless, Judge Katzmerich specifically is known for issuing conservative type rulings. He was involved with the Mifepristone, which is the abortion drug case. He's also, I believe, issued some rulings favorable to enforcing the border laws against like illegal immigrants. And of course, in the Second Amendment context, Judge uh, Katzmerich is known for declaring that the pistol brace rule by the ATF was illegal because it exceeded ATF's authority. So Chuck Schumer in the US Senate is arguing that you should never have divisions with only a single judge, specifically trying to single out Judge Kaczmarek for his conservative rules. Now, of course, Chuck Schumer is being hypocritical here, which is not a shock with the left, because, for example, he is complaining about what's known as judge shopping or court shopping by saying that it's not fair that people get to sue in front of this one judge that's conservative. Of course, he's ignoring the fact that anti, in my opinion, anti-American types, those that want illegal immigration, those that want left-wing nutty policies are are often known to sue in San Francisco, where there is simply no way you can get a conservative or even neutral judge, in my opinion. They're all basically left-wing jurists in that part of the country, specifically in San Francisco. So if you sue in San Francisco in the district in San Francisco, the Northern District of California there, you're basically guaranteed to get a left-wing judge. So when Chuck Schumer is up there saying that it's wrong to have this form of judicial forum shopping, that's no good. And what is Chuck Schumer actually trying to request? What he wants to happen is to make sure that you can never have a situation where there's a division, a division within a district that only has a single judge. He wants to make, basically say that within a district, you always have to have a random spin of the wheel among all the district court judges in that district and you cannot set out these divisions. Now this is entirely inconsistent with how the federal judges has already managed their business because historically Article Three judges, federal judges, basically get to govern how they administer assigned cases internally. It's something the judges do. The judges set up the system. The judges make these decisions about how work is allocated. It's not for another branch of government. In this case, the U.S. Senate, the legislative branch, or even the executive branch with Joe Biden to tell the courts how they should administer and assign judges. Now, there's a very good discussion of what's been going on recently. By the way, this controversy popped up to some degree because I won't bore you with the details here, but there's a certain of a in there's a committee of judges uh conference of judges that basically kind of do research and study and reflect and cogitate over sort of policy ideas and it's not binding anything they say is not binding but they come up with recommendations and suggestions and all this and uh this group of judges came out with an idea that hey maybe we should not have a situation where uh, a particular division only has one judge maybe that we should do something differently allow for the random spin of the wheel and there was a lot of controversy about that I'm not going to bore you with that controversy beyond to say if you want to read more about it check out um a couple pieces, a piece by uh, Professor Josh Blackman of the South Texas College of Law in the Volek Conspiracy, another very good website. I'll put a link to it down below. You can check out if you really wanted to uh, take a look at some detailed discussion of how this forum shopping, judge shopping issue has become a hot topic uh, between Chuck Schumer on the one hand and the Judicial Conference on the other hand and Mitch McConnell on the other hand who's weighed in and so on and so on. By the way, John Cornyn has weighed in on this, Senator John Cornyn, the turncoat on the Second Amendment. And he actually is weighed in on this specifically saying that the judges should make the decisions about 
how uh, these cases are allocated. But again, this is an example of how this is inside baseball. You may say this is boring, this is goofy, it's geeky, it's all true. But this is an example where Chuck Schumer and the left is laser focused on using a geeky inside sort of unknown process to try to prevent conservative judges like Judge Matthew uh, Kitzmerich from being able to hear conservative oriented cases and to find a way to allow the left to be able to form shots in the sense that the left can always sue in San Francisco for some nutty nationwide injunction against Donald Trump and they're guaranteed to get some liberal judge. And while the left gets to benefit from that, the right is basically denied that opportunity because there's no other court that's really like that, like the San Francisco courts. And Chuck Schumer is very upset that uh, there's a single judge in a single division in a single part of the country where conservatives could possibly possibly engage in this sort of judge shopping. Not that they do, but in theory they could. And Chuck Schumer is very upset that there's even a single possibility that the sort of policy, the sort of goals, the sort of strategies that the left has been deploying against America and the right for many years, that the right might be able to do that as well, that the conservatives might be able to do that as well. So again, uh, this is kind of a geeky video today, but it's very important that you track these kinds of things because nothing happens in Washington that's random. And if Chuck Schumer is trying to change the laws associated with how judges are assigned cases, you can bet your bottom dollar that it is going to be unfavorable and bad for the right to keep and bear arms, among other things, if Chuck Schumer gets his way. And this is a classic example of exactly that. But now I'm bringing it to your attention that you need to pay attention to these sorts of things because if they're trying to change how judges assign, I can assure you it's because they're looking for a way to prevent good judges that respect the Constitution, that don't want to engage in liberal judicial activism from, from hearing important Second Amendment and other cases. They want to steer those cases uh, to the nutty Ninth Circuit, uh, unfortunately, uh, or the nutty Fourth Circuit or the nutty Third Circuit out of Boston. All of these are terrible anti-gun courts. We've gone over this before. And that is a perfect world, a utopian world for the likes of anti-gun Senator Chuck Schumer. So there you have it, folks. Make sure you check out some articles down below if you want to read, read more about this geeky stuff. And don't forget to follow me on X at For Marxist Diner, where I cover more Second Amendment news every day. And again, don't forget to subscribe and resubscribe here. Don't get knocked off the list. And we will see you again soon here at The Four Boxes Diner. Order's up. Table 2A.